it's good to see you today. I really enjoyed seeing you on Sunday. It was so fun at the Easter drive-thru. Today, I want to talk about something that's interesting and pretty important. It's about God never changing. In Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8, it says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. See, Jesus, from the beginning of the Bible, God was there. Jesus was there. And in Genesis 1-1, is the same as Revelation at the very end of the Bible. No matter where we look in the Bible, God is always the same. He loves us and cares for us all through the Bible and even to today in 2020. So today, we're going to talk about change. What does change mean? In order to say God doesn't change, we have to understand what change means. Change can be very scary. It means something will transform or look different. You know like a transformer, how they look like a car and then they turn into a robot? That's a change. That's transforming. People change. Things around us change. Circumstances change. Everything changes. <coughs> Sometimes change makes us scared or worried. Change can cause us to be very anxious. It can make, even make us have a stomach ache. But we have to remember that God never changes. He always loves us. He always cares for us. We can trust and depend on him no matter what. God is faithful. God is trustworthy. He, we can always depend on his promises. He says what he means and what he says he does. What God says he does. Period. God does not change no matter what's changing around us. When you go outside right now, you see signs of spring, signs of summer. The lime green leaves beginning to bud out and turning dark green. We see flowers blooming. We see people planting gardens. We see change seasons as they change. But we have to remember, God made those changes. He made spring and summer and winter and fall. He made us go from babies to adults. God designed us to change, but he does not change. God is always who he says he is. That means he'll never be different or transform into anything else. He will always be God, and He will always love us and care for us, and He will always be powerful and mighty and holy. Can you think of other things that God is that will never change? He is the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. There are so many things that God is that will never change. Today we're going to read in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 through 11. I'm not going to read all the verses, just a few of the verses. Verse 1 says, There is a time for everything. There's a time for everything that is done on earth. There's a time to be born, and there's a time to die. There's a time to plant, and there's a time to pull up what is planted. Yesterday, at my house, we actually pulled up our old garden. It had grown up and become weeds, and we didn't want it anymore. So yesterday, for our house, it was a time to pull up what was planted. There's a time to weep. That means cry. There's a time to laugh. There's a time to be sad. And there's a time to dance. That means celebrate. There's a time to scatter stones, and there's a time to gather stones. There's a time to embrace someone, and there's a time not to embrace. Do you hear that? Right now, we're supposed to be far away from people and not hug anyone except for our family. And God wrote it right there in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, a time not to embrace. Sometimes we're not allowed to do that. There's a time to love, and there's a time to hate. There's a time for war, and there's a time for peace. What do workers do for their hard work? I've seen the heavy load God has put on human beings. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He also has given people a sense of who he is. See, God made a time for everything. Today I want to show you what happens when change happens in our life. This person, this blue and red person, the bottom is the person and the top is the things happening. This person does not believe in God. So when things happen, when change happens, when I pull this piece of paper out from underneath them, change is gonna happen in their life. They're gonna get scared and anxious because they don't believe in God. So they're not going to see how much God loves them and how he is the same all the time. Here I go, try not to make a mess. We're in the kitchen today, so I don't make too much of a mess, but I don't know. Miss Tanya's back there trying not to laugh because she knows sometimes I make a mess. Here we go, watch. Do you see it? Do you see that person all of a sudden is filled with all that change and frustration? They're getting anxious and, and they're worrying and getting nervous. The color inside them is actually changing because they didn't believe in the Lord. 
this one on this side, this person believes in God. So this yellow person down here believes in God, and when the change is gonna happen in their life, things aren't gonna quite be the same as the person on the other side. So this little piece of paper is the change, and when I pull it out, do you think it's gonna be the same? Do you think it's gonna turn, like one side turned red and blue turned purple? Do you think this one's gonna turn? Let's watch and see, here we go. I'm a little nervous, I've only done this once. I'm pulling it out, pulling it out. There we go. Look, do you see how the color mixed just a tiny bit right in the middle? But most of it, this whole person is still the same color. I'm gonna dry up some of the water around the bottom so you can see. See, it's all still the same color, it's still yellow. And the reason is, is because they believed in the Lord. So they didn't have to be anxious and nervous and scared. They could pray because God is always the same. No matter what he does, he keeps his promises and he continues to love and care for them. So although all this change is happening in their life, they're still steadfast and strong. They have the belief of God and his love and care in their life. So things didn't change. You can even see a bubble coming up and things still aren't changing. It's still green and yellow where the other side all turned purple. So in Ecclesiastes, it said, for everything there is a season, and it said, God makes everything beautiful in its time. Not only do we have seasons that have their purpose, but they have different things in our lives that have their purpose too. That means that even right now, when bad things are happening, there's a purpose. It means that God gives us laughter and love. He gives us peace. It said God gave us all of those changes. That also means when we cry, that's something that we go through or we give up or something fixed to be broken there's time to deal with all those things so yes even now during this time when we can't all be together when things are so strange we can't go to school we can't go to church we can't go to a restaurant God has a purpose because we know God has a purpose in everything he made this season he made it beautiful in its time I really struggle with figuring out why when bad things are happening they're happening in fact, sometimes we never know why a bad thing happens. But we know God loves us and he's the same no matter what's going on around us. God has a purpose. Sometimes it takes us months to figure out a purpose for something that's happening. Sometimes it takes years. Sometimes we never really understand because we're not God. Aren't we glad we're not in charge? But I think of our current circumstances where we can't go to church, we can't go to school, we can't even go to a restaurant. Some of the purposes that I see around us are spreading of the gospel. Right now, online, on Sundays and on Wednesdays and even other days of the week, more churches are spreading the gospel on Facebook, on Instagram, all over the internet, and more people are hearing about God every single week. Did you know one day while I was teaching, 500 people saw one of my videos? Now, if you think about that, normally about 25, maybe 40 people on a Wednesday night see me teach, but one Sunday night, 500 people watch my video how many more people saw me teach about God and saw heard about God hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people all over the United States all over the world are hearing about the gospel because God never changes he was the same in Genesis in Revelation and he's the same today and he is using this situation mighty powerful things are happening in the world people are learning about him when they never would before. They haven't ever been inside of a church, but now they can hear the word of God. What I want you to know today is that things will change. Bad times are gonna come, good times are gonna come. They're gonna come and go throughout our lives. Your friends, your family will change. Your home or your school or your church may even change. Your clothes, your hair might go gray, and your height will change. You might even get fatter or skinnier. Things will change. But we have to know one thing, God will never change. If we believe in him and we've asked him into our heart, he will never leave us. He will never forsake us. That means he never gives up on us. God will always be here for us through the good times, through the bad times. God always is here for us. He made everything beautiful in his time. And that means he takes all the bad things that are happening in our life and he turns them into something beautiful. He uses hard times to make things more beautiful than we can ever imagine. So think about what's happening right now in your house or with your family, things that you could never imagine. At my house, we've got more family time in the last month than we have in years. I've spent more time with my husband and my 
children than I literally have since they were little boys. And it's amazing to be with them and to spend more time with them. It's amazing to sit around the dinner table every night and not be so busy and crazy. God can do anything more than we can imagine. It says in Ecclesiastes, God makes everything beautiful in its time. Boys and girls, let's pray right now so that we can see how God can use this time, even though it's struggle and difficult, to make something beautiful. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you for today. God, we thank you for showing us that you never change, God, that when we believe in you and we've asked you into our heart, God, and asked you to forgive us for our sins, Lord, and that you will lead our life, God, that you will never leave us. God, that you will always be on our side and you will always love us. God, we thank you so much for the Bible, how we can read, how you are the same from the beginning to the end. God, today we pray for those who are ill. Lord, we pray for those that are in the hospital working. Lord, we pray for all the people that are working right now. God, that you'll protect them from germs and keep them safe. God, we pray for the time we get to come back together. God, that you will allow us all to be back at church, to be together, to enjoy each other's fellowship. God, I pray that you will show us how you can allow us to make something beautiful in this time of change, in this time that things are just a little different in our lives. God, please believe with all my children this week. In your name, amen. Bye, boys and girls.